Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan, here with another Plan With Me video in my B6 food and fitness tracker. So there you see the spread for April 9th through, well only 13th because I don't track on Saturday and Sunday. And I went with a rainbow theme and I really love the way that it looks. And I think I'm gonna try this uh, on a, uh, another week, but this week I decided I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm going to go and do some stamping. So here are some of the stamps that I do want to use today. We'll see if we can get through using all of them, but um, for the most part, I do want to try out stamping and see how it's going to work this week in my fitness, food and fitness tracker. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is glue these two pages together because you can see some of the shadowing from the other page, but also I know that with my stamping and the way that I do stamping, it might shadow back onto the other page. So gluing the two pages together might prevent some of that. So here I'm using my Versafine ink as recommended actually by Jenny McGarvey, who I think is the queen of stamping. And then I'm using these ink, or sorry, these boxes from, these doodle boxes from um, Studio L2E and then this acrylic block that I bought from Michaels and you see that when I'm stamping it I'm trying to apply even pressure but the ink is just not being applied properly so that I realize oh you know what I'm not working on a flat surface and once I do that it just makes it a whole lot easier so making sure to apply even pressure and making sure that the boxes all line up together. I do love stamping. It's really a cost-effective way of decorating. And I love the look of it because it looks like bullet journaling without all of the, the effort of drawing everything in. And I'm not much of a drawer anyway, so I really like stamping. So I'm using wipes there to try and clean off the excess ink and then placing it back onto the plastic there. And I'm going to use one of the other doodle boxes to notate the fitness portion down at the bottom. And I think I'm a pretty messy stamper actually. If I get a little bit of ink on my hands I won't even notice but then I'll notice later that my spread is a little bit smudged. So now I'm going to create um, another box to write down my weigh-in for the week. And I like the scallop box and I like using a different type of box for my weigh-in. And then for my dinners, I don't have a box big enough so I'm just going to draw a box and kind of make it look doodled like the doodle box from Studio L2E. It's not as dark but I think the effect is pretty good. So now I'm gonna take some of these stamps and I can't actually remember where I got these stamps, but I love the leaves and I love the floors and I just wanted to add a little bit of decoration. Um, so these stamps, I rubbed against the back of my hand to prep them a bit and I didn't have to do that with the Studio L2E. They were very, um, with the material and how sticky they were, I think they were fantastic stamps. And then these wood stamps I got from Michaels from their, I think just even their clearance bin. And, um, I just wanted to do some decoration around this spread and I love the florals and how they, it's not much, but it just does something different to the spread. The key with stamping is making sure that you have an even flat surface that you're working with and then placing a piece of paper underneath if you're going to be going off the edges of your paper, just like I am here. And so placing this stamp as well along with leaves around my spread, just creating little pictures as if they're coming off of the page. What I love about this spread is that it does not take a lot to decorate, but the effect of it when it's all done is amazing. And I love the whole black and white look of this spread. It's just, to me, fantastic. So the last thing I'm going to do is with my brush pen, just write in the days of the week and then the word weigh in in that box. Once I fill in some of the lines that didn't go through well, so the weigh in in that box and then I'm going to write dinners in the box below. 
But that's it for me, a really quick stamping bullet journal spread in my B6 food and fitness tracker. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.